Hi friends, it's me Suraj Dev. In this section, we are integrating Google Map to our Angular application. So, come to our monitor screen. In Angular, uh, there is a package named with the Angular Google Map. And this is a package uh, for integrating Google Map to our Angular application. And uh, this is the home page of Angular Google Map website and uh, we can scroll down. We can see uh, setting up basic project structure. We already set a project structure. Yeah, yeah, in, all, uh, in our old sections. You can uh, check with our old sections for uh, setting these projects. And next, uh, setting up Angular google map yeah first we need to install angular google map to our angular application so just copy the npm install at agm bar core save just copy and take our projects and paste here press enter Yeah, it's installing now. Uh, it's take some time. So wait and yeah, it's uh, installed now. And now we need to uh, create one component. So NGGC component name bin assign the component name AGM map press enter yeah the component is created and we need to assign or add the route for that component so add the path path and path name as agm map and specify the component agm map component and it's important here also and then save it and just run the application by ng serve press enter yeah it's listening on localhost 4200 so take browser and open the page localhost 4200 press enter and wait for completing the compilation yeah it's uh, compilation successfully so takes uh, the component the one is here so we need to direct to agm map yeah the AGM map box page is loaded so next uh, we go to the home page of uh, angular map or angular google map and the next st step is set up at ng module and uh, open src app uh, app.module.ts and import the AGM core module you need to provide a google map api yeah that's like and we can click here yeah we can get the key from here uh, with the get start or api or like yeah, we have already the api key so we not we don't bother about that and uh, you need to get key from here or here so next copy the 
AGM core module file or a core module name and open the project and add the code into import section add and we need to import the AGM core module from uh, AGM core module AGM at AGM bar core so put it on here press and press enter then and save and one more thing we need to add the API key here it's compiling now and just close the app.module.ts yes the compilation is successful next uh, and the step is extending the app component so um, open the app.component.ts and add this codes in the app in the app component.ts so we are using agm map component so the name is agm map component open the agm map component and paste the variables and uh, the values are here and save next step is open the file src app bar app dot component dot html and paste the following content but we are using agm map dot component dot html so copy this one and next open the agm map component dot html and paste here and and save next we can check yeah the my first agm map project is come but there is no map here so there is a one more step here for balance as a uh, assigning the height of map so copy this one and add the code into agm map component dot scss paste here yes the map is come here with a marker the marker is located in the address with the latitude as 51.67 something and the longitude as 7.809 and we can check the code here yeah the assigned latitude and longitude as here and this is the variable name assigned in the agm map component and uh, that uh, is the markers locations too so we can go back to the angular google map page yeah build and run and that's it and for more uh, applications or for more functionality we can getting started here link and uh, styled in for basic info window and uh, there is a styled info window with a snazy info windows yeah, for using snazy info windows we need to install the package here this package we need to install this package so 
we already installed the at AGM map AGM bar core and next we need to install AGM snazy info window and AG snazy info window so just copy it and next and close this terminal window and uh, run npm install paste the code and uh, double iphone save and press enter yeah it's uh, on installation yeah the file is or the package is installed now so just rerun the application ng serve and go to the page of agm map and the next process is loading the module and we need to add uh, these modules in our agm map and we already add the agm core module so just copy this one only and it's on building yeah open the app dot module dot ts and add here press enter and copy the package name and add below the agm core module file and save Yeah, it's running now. Yeah, we can close the app.module.ts and next uh, open the browser and load the CSS file with the uh, node module snazy info window dist snazy info window.css. So for Angular uh, CLI version just copy these things and uh, add it into angular.json dot uh, yeah these asset sections we can add the uh, node module snazy info window.css and save and just we need to rerun the application and next using the directive with marker agm marker so we can add this to our application we can remove the old codes and add new one and uh, save yeah it's on building it's not completed yet yeah we get an error uh, the node module css assets pass must start with the project source root so we need to rearrange the section yeah the node module is started with the project root now then there is oh sorry uh, the this one need to be not here it's be in here so press save and rerun the application
yes the application is now running and go to browser yeah and open this one yeah yes here the map is loaded with a marker and click on the marker we can see my first snazzy info window and we can close this marker and here go to codes and with AGM map component yeah the AGM snazzy info window here and the template is loaded here with uh, my first snazzy info window and we can change the my snazzy info window with other html or any other things and we can go to the uh, page home page or like and using the directive as standalone info window as ng template as like is open true latitude longitude cross when other span open means this uh, code is effective when there is more than one marker is in our angular map and for styling there is two way to style this nazi info window one and like yeah, simple use the CSS class shown in the HTML and we can open that yeah it's a github uh, URL and the other documentation for styling and etc and you can uh, this for styling and uh, styling with angular inputs from this link by this way we can integrate angular google map in our angular application if you like this video please like and share to your friends for more videos subscribe our channel turn on bell button for notifications i will come back with a new topic in later bye for now thank you